Hello everybody, welcome back to another movie review. And today's movie review is Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. Uh, so, in this movie, I guess has, uh, Jamie Lloyd, Michael impregnates her, and, well, this movie takes, well, picks up right after Halloween 5, where, Mikey Le Michael Light gets uh, taken back of a van. I guess it shows that flashback. And, uh. It shows, um. Jamie giving birth. Then, supposedly, Michael raped her. And, uh. Movie starts off with Jamie um, escaping with her baby. Then she gets to this barn. Michael, well, Jamie says, Michael, you can't have the baby. And then Michael kills her even more. Well, hurts her even more. And um, after that, Michael goes in the truck, just sees paper towels, I guess. And then Michael's looking for the baby. But. And, um, the part of the movie starts with, uh, the dad, which is an, well, which is an asshole, starts cutting down the Michael Myers, like, uh, thing that the kids put up. Uh, and, oh, fuck, I can't remember. Then he goes inside. I'm gonna skip the whole part where the where he slaps her because I just don't care. And uh, Doctor Loomis is um trying to find the baby, and well, Tommy comes up to him, I guess. Well, Tommy finds the baby first. Are you serious? Tommy finds the baby first. And, uh, he told, he says, Dr. Blumis, I need your help, or something like that. And, uh, uh, he just, Dr. Blumis remembers who he is, Tommy Doyle. And, uh, I guess, uh, Tommy meets, um, the, the, the woman of, I can't remember the woman's name with the long hair, with the glasses, I can't remember. And, uh, they have this, well, there's some dumbass party going on, and I'm gonna skip all that. I'm just gonna, like, not do a lot in this one. I just don't know. I forget. Uh, Hold on, I'm trying to think. Then, um... Well, the woman that lives in the show house, or Myers house, she gets killed by Michael Myers while... while... while trying to escape. Michael Myers kills her with the axe. Uh... Then the dad comes home says so she left me then the power gets cut out then uh finds blood uh sheets in the dryer and then michael's right behind them puts them like to the um, like like from howling for um puts them in the electric thing and his head explodes and, uh, fuck. Then the party continues, then, after that, the, um, dude with the fucking mustache, we're gonna call it, um, pedophile mustache, we're gonna call it, Michael kills him in the, um, trucker car, and, um, yeah, the one boy that lives in this, um, Myers house has sex with this one girl. 
and uh, they both end up dying. Which Michael Myers kills him in the shower. Um, Michael Myers kills the bitch while she's looking out the window. Stabs her multiple times, and then. I guess the little boy starts going over, and I don't know why. Um, the girl's looking for her um, son, and uh, um, she finds him, and Michael Myers is right behind her. And she picks up this fucking, I guess, like, fish hook thing, or whatever you want to call it. It hits Michael Myers with it, and he falls down the stairs. And, um, the girl's trying to get her son, um, quietly, or, um, gently so Michael Myers doesn't grab him or grab her. But Michael Myers does grab her. They start running out the door. Michael Myers is right behind them. Starts, like, walking towards them. And, uh... In the house, Tommy knows the baby's gone with Dr. Loomis, and then, then the men, in, the guy in black, um, reveals his face, which is truly, um, Dr. Loomis's old friend, Wynn, I guess. And the old woman that has the baby has scissors, threatening to stab her. And, um, the cult of Thorn tries to get in the woman, she jumps out the fucking window. And she went somewhere. And they're asking where she went. Uh, <clears throat> movie picks off with her and um, where Jamie Lloyd was in the first place. <clears throat> and she was going to be raped, but no. And uh, Tommy finds her. Well, there's one part that scares Tommy the most. Well, scared him. Where he gets jump scared by this woman that like got stabbed by Michael and Tommy finds um her trying to break the doorknob off which Michael's right there I guess he laughs he's like uh, you're finally here I guess and he grabs her uh fuck I'm trying to remember I I'm trying my best then Michael grabs her hair. She's like, oh god. And Tommy shoots Michael with this fucking gun that knocks him the fuck back. Then uh, Tommy only gets through. And her. Uh, the one part that was cool, in my, the one part that I liked the most. That had like the kill is the part where they like start like the flashing and shit. They get to the um, fucking what do you call it surgery room. Then they see their um they see um Steve and then I don't call it. Uh, try getting them, but Michael's there. Michael goes in and starts stabbing the fuck out of them. And then one guy, uh, and then he start running. And, uh, fuck. Um, they start running. Trying to get the fuck out of there. Michael uses the guy's face to, um, knock down the door. Then they thought they escaped him, but they didn't. Michael goes by the other door. They start running and shit. Michael's right behind them. They get to this one room where it's like, um, weird fucking ancient signs and shit with babies and stuff. And Michael breaks the doorknob off. Uh, Michael's trying to get the baby. And, uh, at, at, I'm just gonna skip the part where he tries to get the baby and shit, but, uh... Tommy beats the fuck out of him with the fucking pipe. You see, like, green shit coming out of his eyes. And then, uh, at the end of the movie. Well, I'm going to talk about both the endings right here, okay? So, 
the first ending is where it just sees the mask on the floor and you hear Dr. Loomis, ha 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 and um, the second ending is where Dr. Loomis sees Michael on the floor, well, which is really when, well, not Michael, but it's when dressed up as Michael. And when it says Michael's gone, and then he says, your game now, Dr. Loomis. Then he sees the call tattoo thorn on his fucking wrist. And you hear him scream. Well, in reality, or I'm going to call him, Michael is actually walking down with the men in black stuff on. And after that, Dr. Loomis looks at it for a, a while. And then, movie ends. Uh, I like this movie too. I'm gonna give it a 10. No, actually, I'm gonna give it a 9.9. No, not a 10. A solid 10. I like the movie. It's good, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. I'll see y'all. Excellent.